Hey, David Pellestri here. Just a quick video. You can't imagine, or you probably can, how many times over the last week uh, with different clients in different industries, people have been asking me, Dave, what's going to happen? You know, what's the coronavirus going to do for my business? What's it going to do for the economy? And, um, you know, I get the questions. I, I, I get why people are, are spooked and challenged and, and all the rest. This is... Um, this is um, an interesting times, but um, you know, without going into all that, all that's going on, I just feel like there's three things, three things that I might be able to just encourage you with today, as a coach, as a business coach, uh, if you're in business, if you're in any sort of enterprise. The first thing is this: keep perspective. Make sure that you 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 keep the right perspective. There's a whole bunch of energy perspectives that are being thrown at you right now for a myriad of different reasons. Um, the media has its own reasons why it would continue to, um, in some respects, sensationalize what's going on. Uh, it's good news for them because it's got the clickbait. It's got people looking at their, their newspapers, their new pa newspaper feeds. That That is an important part of their business. That's how they generate advertising revenue. Don't believe everything you hear on the newspapers. The second thing is this, that in moments of crisis, uh, either, either or not only moments of crisis, but even moments of great success, I always talk about, you know, when things are going awesome, everything's working, or when you're in, you know, really big challenges, that is the worst time to be making long-term decisions around anything. I want to encourage you, Absolutely. Do you need to make some decisions? You do. You need to make some decisions on how to position yourself, how to pivot yourself in the current moment. All I would caution is don't make big long-term decisions. You know, I understand that there are big challenges in some respects, but things like um, firing staff if you don't have to, uh, just in case. I mean, that is, that's a long-term decision made in the midst of a, a great challenge. You need to, you need to think that through. Maybe you can work something out. Maybe you can work something out with your staff. Um, um, you know, I'm going to shut down all marketing. Really? I mean, I mean, you might as well just close your doors. Don't, don't, don't go and torpedo the momentum that is the good momentum that has already been in your business. Just learn how to pivot and how to maybe adjust or just get innovative with regards to some of those calls. The third thing is this: keep your head. This is this is a mind game. This is a um, nothing. Nothing will be uh, wonderful coming out of a sense of panic or a sense of just over-inflating everything. You, you gotta keep your mind game on, gotta keep strong, especially kingdom business people. I wanna say to you, it is our finest hour. We don't panic like the world panics. We don't um, We don't have to be, you know, our, our trust isn't in our business ultimately. It's not in the economy. It's not even in the, the, the world's health. Uh, our trust, we, we belong to an unshake, in an unshakable kingdom, in an un with an unshakable God, um, you know, let prayer, let worship, let joy, let faith, let declarations of faith continue to come out of your mouth, continue to keep the mind and the heart game in check. It's going to be great, great days moving forward, challenging days right now, but great days moving forward. I hope this encourages you. Bless you.